In some big breaking news coming in, the Enforcement Directorate has attached the farmhouse of Lalu Yadav's daughter, Misa Bharti. Misa's Delhi farmhouse has finally been attached under the Prevention of the Money Laundering Act. Misa Bharti, in fact, was booked by the Enforcement Directorate under the Prevention of the Money Laundering Act after raids were conducted. So first, it was the Enforcement Directorate that had conducted those raids and now this farmhouse has been attached. We have with us Executive Editor India Today, Meetu, for more details and updates. Uh, Meetu, just tell us a little bit more about this farmhouse because the Enforcement Directorate is already investigating a number of Binami land deals uh, which involves Misa and her husband. That said, in fact, the Bijuasan farmhouse that we are talking about, which was bought for approximately a crore and a half uh, in 2008-9 and now is valued at about 50 crore, is the one big link that the Enforcement Directorate is looking at to reach Lalu Prasad Yadav. Because remember, the company that Nisa Bharti had formed sometimes back in 2002, and this is interesting background that they are sharing, uh, she, she invested 1 lakh rupees in one company in 2002. The company was registered at Lalu's... Uh, official address to mm -hmm. 25 Kublak Road. Mm -hmm. Later on, shares of this company were sold to a Varenta Jain for 100 rupees each. The share value was 10 rupees. She sold it for 100 rupees, made a neat 1.25 odd crore. And post that, uh, later on, she bought, she bought those shares back for 10 rupees each. So essentially, it was a convenient way of uh, getting a bribe, so to say. Mm -hmm. That's what the enforcement director is alleging. And later on, she used this money to buy this farmhouse. So essentially, it is proceeds of a crime money laundering. That is the allegation the enforcement directorate has made. They were planning to attach this farmhouse for a while now. Now that they've attached it, they would be using this as a means of putting more pressure on Lalu Prasad and his family. Um, you know, and which is, of course, Lalu and company would say is a lot of political uh, mind games that is being played out. Well, uh, absolutely. Uh, you know, Misa, her father, Lalu Yadav, has uh, cried political vendetta. He is saying that uh, he is being deliberately targeted and his family members. But uh, this probably is just the tip of the iceberg. This is just one farmhouse that has been attached. Weren't there many other farmhouses, uh, you know, which are owned by Misa and her husband that are presently under investigation? Well, that, there are a lot of properties, you know. One can't okay. exactly call them farmhouses, but okay. essentially there are a lot of properties by the Lalu family, of course, like when Lalu was a railway minister, there is an allegation that he, uh, that this uh, this land was, was sold to somebody, uh, a, a business proposition it was, a railway land, to build a hotel. That land was later sold to Kainshan Gupta's wife and that was later sold to uh, Lalu's uh, family, etc., etc. But then there is no direct link there, so to say, of uh, Lalu's involvement, you know, as a, a railway minister. So therefore, Prevention of Corruption Act doesn't directly apply to him. But where this Nisa Bharti farmhouse is concerned, there is a direct involvement, at least that's what the enforcement directorate is hoping. Okay. Because remember, where this farmhouse is concerned, the original address through which this uh, this uh, farmhouse was bought to that, uh, to that company, the address was Lalu's official address. So that is one right. uh, one link that the enforcement directorate is looking at. Right, Meetu Jain there with all the details on the farmhouse of Misa being attached by the Enforcement Directorate. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll come back to you for more details a little while later.